everyone, this is Teacher Marilyn. So for this video, I'll be discussing about area. So familiar kayo sa word na area kasi uh, madalas nyo itong marinig um, usually kapag pinag-uusapan yung mga space, for example, sa mga um, mga sizes ng mga lot, yes, mga house and lot. So kung meron na kayo narinig na nagbebenta ng let's say 100 um, square meters, so yung 100 square meters it actually refers to the area. So, we define area as the space occupied by a flat shape or the surface of an object. So, we're discussing here about yung space niya na pwede natin i-measure in terms of unit squares. So, yung unit squares na tinatawag natin is, uh, for example, meron tayong isang space. Okay, so let's say itong space na to, itong square na to. So, sa square na to, sa space na to, pwede ka makapaglagay ng 1, 2, 3, 4 squares. Okay? Um, itong mga small squares na to, ang measurement niya is 1 um, centimeter on each side. So, um, parang pag sinabi mo dito na 4, na meron kang, for example, na area na 4 square centimeters, para mo na rin sinabi na pwede ka rito maglagay ng apat na squares na merong measurement na 1 centimeter on each side. So, similarly, for example, meron kang area na 9 square centimeters. As you can see, ito yung area na yun, ito yung square na yun. So, you can fit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Okay, so, pwede tayo makapaglagay ng 9 squares na merong size na 1 by 1 centimeter. Okay, or pwede natin sabihin ang bawat isang square centimeter mo, okay, ang bawat isang square is equivalent to 1 square centimeter. So, for instance, binigyan ka ng um, size ng lot, and let's say 100 square meter. Okay, so, ang ibig sabihin nito, meron kang space na kaya mong maglagay ng 100, okay, 100 na um, squares na ang size ng bawat isang square is 1 um, square meter or 1 by 1 meter. Okay? Now, tingnan natin mga different formulas for area. So, meron ako dito um, chart ng mga different um, formulas ng mga different areas. So, for example, for the area of the triangle, so meron tayong formula na um, A is equal to B times H over 2. Or yung iba, yung sula din to as 1 half BH. Where in yung B, it represents yung base ng ating triangle. And then H is yung height. Now, sa parallelogram naman, to find the area of the parallelogram, so it's simply the base times the height. So again, so yung base, yung ating horizontal line. And then yung height, yung taas, o yun yung pinaka-vertical line natin. Then we also have the area of the rhombus na base times height Then So similar lang siya sa formula ng sa parallelogram. And then for the rectangle, okay, uh, the rectangle is actually also a parallelogram. So, parehas lang sila. Um, kaya lang sa rectangle kasi, um, naka 90 degrees yung bawat isang corner. Ayan. So, ito yung um, isang special case ng parallelogram which is the rectangle. So, meron tayo ditong formula na length times the width. And then yung formula naman for the square, so we have the area times L squared. Or sa, isang te sa ibang textbooks, makikita nyo to as um, S or the side square. Kasi lahat naman ng mga sides ng, trying, ng uh, square is the same. So, pinukuha lang natin yung square niya. And then, we also have the area of the trapezoid. So, meron tayo nitong formula na A is equal to, ito, so capital B plus B times H over 2. Now, sa ibang textbooks, makikita nyo to as A plus B. So, yung sinasabi natin dito na itong um, B plus B na to, okay, it refers to the two parallel sides. So, ito yon So, two parallel sides. And then, yung H, it refers to the distance between the two parallel sides. Yeah, so, para hindi kayo malito. And then, we also have the area for the circle. So, meron tayong pi r squared. Okay, so now let's try to apply yung mga formulas na yun sa isang word problem. So a square garden with a side length of 150 meters has a square swimming pool in the very center with a side length of 25 meters. Calculate the area of the garden. 
Okay, so usually kapag nagsusolve tayo ng mga word problems, mas maganda kung um, gagawa muna tayo ng illustration. Okay. So, illustrate natin na let's say, ito yung ating square garden. Okay. So, ang sabi dyan, meron tayong side length na 150 meters. Okay. So, since square yan, ibig sabihin, all the sides are equal. So, 150 meters on all sides. And then, sabi dito, yung meron tayong square swimming pool at the very center. So, sa center nito, meron ka, pa lang, meron ka pang smaller square. Okay? And then, sabi dyan, ang ating side length is 25 meters. And so, this is what our illustration looks like. Ayan. So, pinakita ko lang na four sides niya is equal. Okay? Pero, pwede naman na isang side lang yung ipakita nyo. So, we have to calculate for the area of the garden. Okay, so ang area ng garden is ito yung sa swimming pool, ito yung sa garden. So, therefore, una natin mo nang kailangan i-compute yung total area ng dalawa. So, yung pinaka-bigger picture dito, okay, so yung pinaka-square uh, natin dito outside, so i-compute muna natin yung area na yun. So, isusulat ko siya rito as A out, A outside, ayan, para madali. Ito yung outside figure natin, yung ating main um, square. So, since this is a square, so formula natin is L squared. So, this is now equal to 150 meters squared. So, answer dito is 22,500 square meters. Now, let's compute naman yung area inside. Pinaka-inside figure natin. So, ito naman yung small um, square natin dito. So, the formula again is L squared. So, kung isa-substitute natin yung L dito ng 25. So, 25 meters and then squared. So, good natin dito is 625 square meters. Okay. Now, ang kailangan natin is to compute for the area of the garden. So, that means kailangan natin isubtract yung dalawa to get the area of the garden. So, the area of the garden is equal to the area outside minus the area inside. Okay. So, meron tayo ditong 22,500 square meters minus 625 square meters. So, ang ating answer would be, so, magiging 21,875 square meters. So, this is the entire area of the garden. So this time, let's try this example. A line connects the midpoint BC. So ito yung BC natin. So ito yung ating midpoint E. With point D in the square ABCD. So ito, ito po yung ating square na ABCD. Ayan. So calculate the area of the acquired trapezoid shape if the trapezoid shape of the square has a side of 4 meters. Okay. Okay, so bali dito sa nakuha nating figure, so pwede natin ma-identify dito yung two sides. So, i-identify ko na lang siya as A and B. Okay? So, yung isang side A natin, ito yung two parallel sides natin, meron tayong 2 meters. And then yung B, meron tayong 4 meters. Again, ito yung ating two parallel sides. Now next, sahanapin natin yung H. So, yung H is always the distance between the two parallel sides. So, since ito ay isang square, ibig sabihin, itong height na to, ito yun, okay? This one is also equal to 4 meters. Yan. So, kung, kung i-compute natin yung area ng trapezoid, so the formula for the area of the trapezoid is uh, 1 half A plus B H. Okay, so gagawin natin, substitute natin. So, 1 half times A. So, that's 2 meters plus B. 4 meters times the height of 4 meters. So, kung isi-simplify natin, meron tayong 1 half. And then, this is 6 meters times 4 meters. So, pwede natin makakitong 6 at saka 2. So, this one will give us 3. So, therefore, yung ating area is 12 square meters.